You said you were going to do it. Yep. You said you were going to go a low 60. Congratulations, man. Thank what a run. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, we we pulled it off. Um, can't th thank our crew enough. Proline Racing, Fuel Tech, Mickey Thompson Tires, you name it. We did it. Um, man, they, they helped us great this weekend. Get another motor in it. Uh, it's all fresh. Hopefully we didn't hurt nothing. I don't think we did. But, 
We're ready to go racing tomorrow. That was absolutely incredible, man. I watched it. I knew something spectacular was coming. It was a 64, wasn't it? 64 with a two. That puts us number two. Uh, as of right now, that puts us number two right behind Mark Mickey. I think he went a 64 with a one. I mean, this is like pro stock racing. It's crazy. This is insane, man. Big man from Texas brought a big gun from Texas. And here you are sitting at number two. Congratulations. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. One of the fastest, if not the fastest, nitrous drag radio car in the world. Uh, Jamie Hancock, I believe, from Opelika, Alabama. Yes, sir. That's close enough. <laughs> All right, man. Tell us about the run. Oh, my God. Uh, that was a badass pass. Went 941, 246, and 368. In it's a nitrous car, right? In a nitrous car, yes, sir. Is that nitrous to the front? Oh, nitrous to the front. They all better watch out tomorrow. We're just getting started. He's Jamie Hancock says, I'm just getting started, man. Well, I'll tell you what. We've been watching you all weekend go faster and faster and faster. Who's responsible for the tune-up, man? Who's doing this to your car? This man right here, James Hancock, my dad, doing it all. Without him, it wouldn't be where we are. And the driver, right? That's right. It takes him to do everything. Okay, man, what a team. We are in the pits of Hancock. Hey, live from South Georgia Motorsports, uh, Sports Parks, congratulations. Thank Dad, you. son, Thank driver, you. tuner, team, yes, sir. I'm out.
So, Rock and Rob, we're here in the pits with Jeff Neiser as he has been kicking butt all weekend long with his unbelievable nitrous car. Uh, I see the cylinder heads off the car. The motor's all apart. Are you going to be able to finish this weekend out and go for the 100 grand? Oh, yeah, we're going to finish. I mean, the last run, as I said, we down the interview down there. We heard the motor. It got a piston on each side, and since we had to pull both heads off, we decided it would be best interest to pull all the pistons out, look at everything, and replace whatever needed to be replaced. And there was aluminum all in the chambers. I mean, this is a new motor. We don't have an extra set of cylinder heads for it right now. I mean, this is, we just want to make sure everything's right for tomorrow morning, you know, tomorrow for the 100000 So we decided to skip the last session, take our time, and uh, get everything and, you know, check everything out for tomorrow. Well, you are totally calm, cool, and collected. Your team is thrashing. This is just awesome. This is what people don't get to see, exactly what it takes to be a champion, man. Sometimes you have adversities, you overcome them, and you end up winning the event. Who knows? You can be the dark horse. Oh, we're going to do our best. I mean, that's what we're here for. I'm Hopefully, you know, we can figure out the combination a little bit more, and I think it's going to take, you know, mid to high 60s to win this. So that's what we need to run, and that's what we're going to try to do. All right, so good luck from here in the pits with Team Nizer. Hey, we're out. All right, thank you.
All right, so we're here with Don Lamont, man. Amazing. The Mustang just, man, I don't even want to tell. I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you tell everybody what this crazy, this crazy Mustang just did here in front of a billion people. Man, we just uh, killed our personal best and uh, in Pro 275 trim, we went a legitimate uh, 394 and uh, we're super excited, man. Super Did you hear that? A 394 on 275s, man, and uh, it's uh, it's crazy. I, I'm super excited. 275 drag radios here at the Sweet 16. Records have been shattered. Um, uh, best ever. Uh, so many people have done their best here. I mean, is that your personal best? That's our personal best. Our personal best 60. Our personal best. That, the whole freaking run was our personal best. I mean, every every. Uh, Every uh, increment was our best, every single one. Um, my guys are killing it. They are just killing it. I drive the car, they do it. They do it all, man. I just drive. All right, so from the Sweet 16, man, I don't know how you could do any better than that, but we wish you the best of the luck for the weekend, and super congratulations. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, guys.
Mark Mickey, incredible, as you have been setting the pace all weekend long. Yesterday, your qualified number one, Stevie Fast, took it from you. You took it back, and you just took it away from yourself. How are you feeling? Man, we are all, we are pumped. How about that? 6362 for a drag radio car. Are you shitting me? A drag radio car, ladies and gentlemen. Mark, uh, you know, tell us about whose power are you running? Uh, Chris Nelson does the motors. Awesome job. I mean, let's Garrett Turbos. I mean, it speaks for itself. Um, uh, all of my guys at shop M and M Trans. You know, Bill Miller, BME man, been on the phone helping us all weekend. We appreciate Bill. Um, just tons of guys. I mean, Bill at Atomizer. Those guys just take care of us. Rick at Firecore. Um, man, I'm forgetting a lot of guys. I'm just on cloud nine. You, you know what matters? Yeah, you are on cloud nine. You deserve to be, man. We you appreciate everybody. Thanks, everybody. Mark but, Mickey came to the most deadly race on the planet, the Sweet Sixteen. Once again, congratulations, and uh, best of luck, you know, tomorrow for the $101,000 cash, my friend. Woo! Hell yeah, let's get some. guys uh, we're here with uh two or three of the baddest guys in the world i'm gonna say uh, i'm gonna start off though I, I gotta say super impressive with uh jamie hancock over here yes uh, I agree. The, the nitrous deal i'm gonna be honest with you i had picked nizer to be the first one in the 60s he blew his shit up he jumped <laughs> in there <laughs> sorry <laughs> jeff <laughs> it's i think it's normal for them are you gonna at least hold it over <laughs> what? Anyway, uh, how did it feel compared? What's the fastest you had been? Not not anywhere else. But I'm saying before you got to South Georgia. How was it? 84. So we've gone, wait a minute now. We've gone from an 84 to what? 68. <laughs> That's a pretty big uh, step. Would you go from like 175 just to 250 or what? 300. <laughs> With six kits. <laughs> He's got one system on right now, folks. That's it. But, uh, That's it. Now, I know you guys got, I know you, you guys have an awesome family. You got a bunch of stuff on the internet. And uh, it's like, I was, I was pumped for you, bro. I Thank really you. was. Um, oh, that's amazing. How, I mean, besides we got some kind of craziness going on with there, Mickey, but uh, how, <laughs> I don't know what. It, that was like, like a 200 pound weight, weight penalty coming on. There. And we'll, there it is. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> You need a little more sponsorship money from the left, and we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put Mickey about three thousand fifty. <laughs> so, how fast can a nitrous car go, James? We'll put it this way: that we got a chance tomorrow. We're not done. Okay, and especially, um, is it gonna is it gonna be better for the nitrous cars with it being a little warmer tomorrow? Uh, what that, do you think? That hurts us some, but uh, we're gonna give it all we can give tomorrow. What was the sixty foot on it? Nine forty one. Now, someone told me that the nitrous cars couldn't go that kind of 60 foot. Well, they can, and they're going to go faster. Okay. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy. I, we, need, we need a nitrous guy that's got a... Yeah. <laughs> Keep hey, drinking. Hey, that's it. Two and done. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so let's move over to the uh, Aleppo and Ferris deal. Uh, we got the guy here. Obviously, he went straight back to being the uh, hall monitor, blocked everybody out <laughs> so he could jump out here, put this man in it. Uh, I mean, we come weren't on. first out well ago, you know. Huh? We, was, we were not first out well ago. They were not. Where were they? Were they? Like oh, no, we, don't, we didn't want to be first. We no. were like falling in I think in three. we were, what, fourth or fifth, I think. You ain't first, you're last. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but we were there. Yep. Anyway, so before you got here, what was the fastest that the car had ever been? 75. So wait, wait, wait a minute now. 
I know there's been a lot of crying about rules and stuff. So you go from a, a 75 to a 64. I mean, is that the first time you guys used a boost controller? Or, I mean, what's <laughs> well, the deal? Well, actually, that didn't work yesterday. So uh, we, we, we had to figure out what was wrong with that first pass. I mean, did you leave with the, with the gates all the way shut or what? Yeah, something like that. What 60 foot did you guys go? Uh, you know, the fastest we'd ever been to the 60 foot was one flat. Uh, we did that in Bradenton, doing some testing here and there. Uh, we went 987, 60 foot while ago. Okay, and what was the, what's the fastest uh, turbo with, uh, at weight, though? Not, I mean, we got Mickey there with the, with the, with the sled at 20, 2,300 pounds or something. But. Well, we went, what, 987, Dwayne went 994 earlier. Yeah. Um, and then Mickey's, like, in a, on another planet, so we don't, we, we have no idea Warp on speed. that one. So. We got some Area 51 uh, Denton stuff going on. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of hall monitor stuff. I've seen a bunch of drones flying around over there by his pit. As, uh, hey, Brent, why don't you come on over here, buddy? Yeah, you can speak you for can, about four can, or five guys. Come you, on, can, boy. you can represent two or three people at one yeah, time. Yeah, here we go. He's got the, he's got the <laughs> blazer on. So I, I got to know what happened. I mean, you seem to be first. I'm not one to want to start trouble, but um, I saw you guys down there. Uh, looked like you guys had the car tuned up. And uh, what happened with the lane choice going on down there? Well, um, this first, where are we at? Duck X production. We're duck X production. We ain't the NHRA, so um, we come up and we assumed that since we were pairing, we don't normally do that in qualifying. But you were number one qualifier. Number one qualifier. Uh, we decided we wanted the left lane since we were number one qualifier. You know, you get lane choice, kind of. But we thought, well, somebody left the trail of tears up to the starting line. Complaining that he wanted, you know, we got to alternate lanes, you know, those are the rules. I said, well, motherfucker, this is Duck X. This ain't NHRA there. The rules, there's rules here. So, you know, they. So basically, out of nine qualifiers, all of a sudden we're going to change lanes on the last one. Exactly, exactly. It doesn't matter. They picked which lane they got their ass kicked in. I don't care. All right, well, sometimes it comes back to bite you a little bit when people make a big deal about something out there. And uh, but I thought we were all family, you know. Anyway, <laughs> congratulations. Uh, honestly, uh, extremely impressed. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. Yep. What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> hello, hello. Anyway, what, what, what is going on? You got some Area 51 Denton stuff going on in that thing. Yeah, we're in the triangle. Yep, there it is. This is the Huntsville Triangle out here. What? I mean, this is like a Huntsville time slip if I've ever seen one. You might want to get Brad Edwards to check that out. Yeah. I mean, what, uh, what is the capability of the Mickey Thompson tire? I don't know. I, I don't think we're even close. I mean, I'm telling you. Why don't you pull up a chair there, Mark? That, I mean, the track prep is just insane. I mean, come on. Unbelievable. Good job, Wade. Where, where's, where, where, yeah, where I'm actually Wade glad at? you said that because I can't take Jason Carter blowing my phone up us. no more over what happened in February. Man, I'm telling you, I'm, February's done long gone. That was a nightmare I don't want to remember, so. Anyway, so uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. what, what? So let me let me ask you. Hello, hello. All right. Can we have a Any, for his Anyway, so who made the who made the hundred percent decision to say to hell with it? We're going to take the right lane and show them what's up. I did, man. I just want to race, you know. And I mean, you, you, we got Stevie fast, epic. The track prep, it's like, I don't give a shit, man. We'll take the right lane, left lane, center lane. I don't care, you know. You're just going to drive that. I mean, when you're going 220 mile an hour, you just take whatever lane you want. Yeah, I now mean, that would be just, a drive by. We just want to race. <laughs> you, we're not going to get these conditions for a long time. So I mean, this was the run tonight. So. Well, I just think with when you have, you know, you got 3,000 people sitting there on live feed. You got the people out here. I mean, uh, the single file crap, you know what I'm saying? I, I was I was about ready to freaking tear the stuff down out of the tower up there. 
Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be licking the microphone. It gets any closer, okay? <laughs> Linko could come stick this thing up his butt and show me how to do it, I guess. <laughs> you better listen, to the boss. <laughs> anyway, so we don't really have we don't know what the tire will do though. No, man, it's just amazing. I mean, look at the look at Andrew and Daniel. I mean, come on, unbelievable what these cars can do. Look at them. I mean, you got yeah, the we're nitrous just guys there. over we're here. Two. Look I at the nitrous guys. I mean, they're yeah, just. I mean. I mean, that's just a testament to the tire and to the track prep that you got that many cars in the 60s. Well, so. Han Hancock don't say too much, but I'm going to be honest with you. You missed what he said earlier. He said uh, he said he ain't through yet. He said that uh, he said the nitrous cars, uh, he said they're going to be there tomorrow. Um, I I'm going to tell you right now, I'm very, very impressed with the nitrous cars. Obviously impressed with your deal, but the nitrous cars, too, to, to hang in there. I mean, if you really think about it, that time, any other time, I mean, I'd have been hearing about how the nitrous cars were going to ruin the sport because they were too light if you guys wouldn't have been here. If Jamie would have been here testing by himself, Jason Carter would have blew my phone <laughs> slap off. The ringer would have been. You got like that multiple text thing, you know, like ding, 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 ding. You, you get those, do you? It's just like when I'm posting on Facebook, that's the same way that Carter gets me back. So. Anyway, but uh, we, we just want to say we do appreciate all you guys coming out here. Uh, you waving the, uh, the nitrous flag, to me, is like it's extremely impressive. Um, I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I think everybody was going to fall slap out of the tower. You know what I mean? I mean, we thought that you and Shane Stack was back in Huntsville. <laughs> and, and you know, I mean, it was Golden like that was Golden. some serious Brad Edwards stuff going on out there. Yeah, I mean, we're pumped. I mean, we're, it's all our customers at the table. So I think that shows a lot for us. Threw an Eminem transmission in there on me, didn't you? He had to get a plug didn't in there. Even, didn't even pay for that one. No, so. no, no. Anyway, uh, super impressive. All you guys, obviously, I think some people got a little butt hurt going on. They ain't going to make it up here. Either that or they're repairing stuff. But um, honestly, great guys that are at the table here. Uh, we love you all. So the support from you guys is awesome. I know we were just here, so and I know it was painful in February with a million cars, but let me ask you this. Did you get enough qualifiers to make it okay? Like Can two we, more tonight? I mean, come on. We still got parts in the trailer, you know. <laughs> Wade said that we could go one more time, get that thing in the Let's 50s. Well, uh -huh. I'm ready. I'm out. I'm going to bed. So. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, listen, there is going to be... Top 16. That thing's like in gold right there, Jamie. Uh, if you guys can help out Chris Simmons uh, at 9 a.m., they're going to do a 16-car photo shoot real fast. It'll be something cool for the archives, you know. Uh, hopefully we'll get it. I'd love to see it on the cover of Drag Illustrated. If, 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 Wes, if Wes had any guts on him at all, he'd put yeah, that thing, Wes? He'd put that thing right on the cover. So, yeah, well, we're going to hold him to the fire on it. Okay. I think instead of giving it to one guy – I think that uh, I think the 16 on there would be an awesome thing. I know Wes is going to try to bug our mind. I called an 80 bump before the race, and I was off. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you got your if you got your jackets or something with you, we try to work with shirt. Chris. He's going to print them all out. Uh, it'll be a killer time. Uh, you can bring your crew, whatever you want to oh, do. Even Woody March welcome. You know, so. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> well, you Mo most everybody's show. welcome <laughs> except for oh, Jamie's man. crew. Anyway, but good luck tomorrow. Get some sleep. Jamie, ease up. Don't double fist it tonight. You don't have a quadruple fist. <laughs> you can see Mickey. He's there. just going one at a time here. He's got one, that's got like one round at a time. One round at a time. Uh, I can't wait to see it. I know, obviously, it's going to be a little slower tomorrow. You know, it's going to be a little hotter out there. Um, what do you think it's going to take consistency to, to get there, Mark? I mean, you're going to have to go fast, dude. I mean, with this track prep, even if it's hot, you're not gonna you're not gonna go out and run you know 80s and go any rounds here, dude. You, you can't back off. You're gonna it's gonna take it's gonna take 67 to 72 to go past past second round. So it's gonna be impressive. I can't wait to see it. Uh, Wade Rich said that uh, he's pumped up about it. Can't say enough about Wade. He's he's really actually been able to eat a couple cheeseburgers along the way. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the only thing I messed up on on this whole deal was I had no idea. That it was going to cost $102,000 in food 
to keep this thing going because I'm going to tell you right now, when, you take, people can when you take an hour and a half break or an hour, I had to start speeding y'all up. We were running out of food. <laughs> Everybody's in there like, get RVWs in the lanes. It's like a big ant thing. They just all. <laughs> so, well, we did, you did run out of pizza at Lights Out 9 at the last minute. We ain't running out of no cheeseburgers, though. Why you got to throw us under the bus? I ain't like throwing you under no damn bus. You know me, you, you know that, you my boy. If that sponsorship money would have been a little more. Wow. All right, listen, we're out of here. Thanks for coming, guys. Love you all. We'll see you in the morning. Give these guys a round of applause.